in this problem we're going to deal with maximizing an equation. A farmer wants to create a fenced off area to grow tomatoes. He buys 100 feet of fencing. The fenced off area will be a rectangle with one side being one of the walls of, of his barn. What should the dimensions of the rectangle be in order to maximize this area? Alright, so let's first let's draw what this thing is saying. Alright, so it's going to be a rectangle. Well, if it's size, it's going to be the barn wall. So let's just say the top is the barn wall. So I'm going to use the left, the right side, and the, down, the bottom side to fence off. And you have 100 feet of the fencing. So let's just call the length of this side x. And this side has to be the same length, so x. So what's going to be the remaining side's length? We know we have 100 feet of fencing. And the two other sides are x and x, or 2x. So this is going to be the remaining of 100 minus 2x. All right, so our three sides are x, x, and 100 minus 2x. Now the area of this rectangle is going to be length times width, or x times 100 minus 2x. So let's do this. So our area is going to be x times 100 minus 2x. So multiply that out, it gives us 100x minus 2x squared. So that's going to be our area, or, or A. Okay, so we want to find out what's the, what value for x will give us the maximum area. So that's basically maximizing this function. What kind of function is this? Is a quadratic, is x squared and x term. All right, so let's see how we actually maximize a function like this. All right, so we got our equation 100x minus 2x squared. Okay, so remember this is a quadratic, so it looks like this, and we know it is shaped down like this because the negative 2, the negative number in front of the x squared term makes it curve down like this. And our vertex is at the peak here, and that's going to be our max right there at that vertex. So we need to find out the coordinates of that vertex. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to take our equation you know, to find the x-coordinate of that, we use the equation negative b divided by 2a. So on this problem, negative and b is 100 divided by 2 times negative 2. And remember, we got the a, ax squared plus bx plus c. You know, and the number in front of the x squared term is a, the number in front of the x term is b, and c is the constant. We don't have a constant here, just zero. All right, so we get negative 100 over negative 4, which gives us 25. So that's the x component of our vertex. Now to find the y component, we plug in 25 for x into our equation. So that leaves us 100 times 25 minus 2 times 25 squared. 100 times 25 is 2,500. 2 times 25 squared ends up being 1250. So 2500 minus 1250 gives us 1250. So our vertex is at 25, 1250. Alright, so that's our, our max. Our x value is going to be 25, our y value 1250. And that equates, the 1250 equates to our area. And 25 relates to what value of x into this equation gives us the maximum 
area. So if we go back to our, our fenced off area, where the top is the, the barn wall, the two sides were X, and the bottom side was 100 minus 2X. We figured we just figured out that X was 25, so each of these sides are 25. If we plug in 25 down here, we get 100 minus 2 times 25, or 100 minus 50, or just 50. All right, so our maximum areas if we make the two sides 25 feet long and the long side 50 it gives us a max area of 1250 square feet and that's how you maximize a function